guys, welcome back to day 14 of hashtag Povember. And uh, the prompt for today is grave. And I'm making another little jewelry piece. And I have I have a bunch of these wooden discs. I have a shit ton because I also use them to make uh, like wooden runes. And um, I was trying to think of other fun things to do that were maybe not just like the standard bits of jewelry that I tend to fall back on. You know, I don't just, like, make a pair of earrings or a bracelet every day. Um, so I thought I would try my hand at painting these up and uh, turning it into a little a little jewelry piece. Um, a little grave jewelry piece. So, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. And I don't really have that much to talk about in regards to painting things. So we're going to see how this goes. Um... Oh, look, we got, we got closer so we could see things. So I used some acrylic paint watered down because I wanted the wood grain to still sort of show through a little bit here. Um, and then I brought out these uh, Tim Holtz watercolor pencils uh, because I don't use them. And they're basically just sticks of pigment. So I was like, all right, let's 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 see let's see what happens. Um, I was surprised a little bit because they have a chalky finish. Um, surprisingly chalkier than I anticipated. Um... So, in regards to the watercolory-ness of them, I don't know if I'd really necessarily classify them as watercolor, because watercolor, like, nice quality watercolors are actually, like, mostly translucent for the most part, unless um, something more opaque has been added, like a white has been added to it. Um, but, for whatever reason, uh, these have a little bit of chalkiness to them, and they're not, like an oxide product so I thought that was very interesting just an interesting aside also if you do this uh, I have learned the lesson now that I will not drill the hole first I will paint first and then drill the hole afterwards because I forgot where the hole was as I was painting and had to start over <laughs> so luckily we weren't that deep into it but it was still like one of those oh no moments so yeah <laughs> If you put the hole into your wooden disc first, where it comes pre-drilled, there are those that are available. So if you are looking to do something similar, you absolutely can. They come pre-drilled. Um, be aware <laughs> of where that hole is, because you can see I had to keep turning the disc to remind myself where it was, because I move the piece as I paint, and then it just continues to sort of evolve into that direction, which is, uh, you know... <laughs> on artist ADHD uh but once I realized I had to be mindful of where the actual hole in the disc was it was a, a lot easier to paint in the right direction <laughs> but it was still pretty frustrating to realize I had messed it up right when I started but I left it in here so you guys could see that because um I like to leave that in there so you guys can see that it's not always perfect all the time and it's still fixable so we fixed it so um what I started out with was a blue color I believe blueprint blueprint sketch is the name of the the distress color um and then I just added white to it or the picket fence color into it gradually and then when I needed it to be very opaque like I wanted it to be very white for these clouds I just used a, a Posca paint pen to add in a little bit of uh more opaque white because I think the picket fence white is sort of semi-opaque so to get more of a solid white color for our clouds I um added more white surprisingly <laughs> Because I don't have much to talk about in regards to painting, because I, I just, I just do it. <laughs> so I don't really know how to, like, explain it. Um, but I then went in and added um, the gravestone, or the headstone, I don't know what they're called. Uh, I added this stone um, with more white. So I took some black paint, and then I used actual black acrylic paint, not the black pencil paint. And then added in more white to that, so I could get this, like, gray color. And then I'm just playing with the values of the gray um, to use it for, like, the dark parts of the cracks and then the lighter parts of the shading or, like, the light, the moonlight is, like, hitting it so you can see the edges. Um, and basically just playing with values so that I can get a, a nice look. And then I decided that I wanted this to match, um, some of these, like, mossy gravestone tags that I added as a Patreon reward last month. Um, so I'm going through and I'm adding in some moss and then realizing that because... I forgot in the process of doing this in one sitting <laughs> that this paint is actually chalky and not transparent or completely opaque um, that it was going to be a bit more difficult to get the mossy effect I was going for. So I had to go back over with an even darker color of green in order to sort of knock back that chalky finish because it was too white. Um, and then I could go back in and add a lighter color um, over the top to get it to be the highlights of the, the actual color here. 
And I just used a simple water brush and just a regular paintbrush. Nothing fancy here because I wanted to keep it very simple and straightforward because anybody can do it. And as you can see, I was test running, uh, running out uh, rest in peace on here. And then I added in some little bats with my little Posca pen. And look at how messy my handwriting is on the little test piece. And then on the actual piece, I got it really nice. Like, what is that? <laughs> Who does that? And then I decided that the gray was sort of sinking into the background a little bit. So to just bring it to the forefront a little bit more and make it more of the focal point, I just went around the edge very lightly and added a little bit of the black color to it. And then I'm just re like painting up the edges so that it's all nice and polished looking. And there we have it. There is our entire finished piece. Um, I'm going to add a little uh, eyelet to it. Not eyelet. What are those called? Jump rings. I'm going to add a jump ring to it. And it's a very simple uh, little cord for right now. I'm going to come back and give it a better cord later. But for this point in the video, I didn't have a better cord. So we're just impromptu adding this in there. I will eventually add in a little red bead to add in a little accent color. But yeah, that's everything, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed this make. It was sort of a fun one to explore. I'm looking forward to sort of trying some more stuff on these little discs. And that's going to be it for me for this one you guys i will catch you all in the next one until then happy crafting i appreciate your faces so much don't forget to check out the hashtag november 24 see what everybody else is making and until next time guys bye